speedier than the surface of space-time, it can remain mindful of it, and it'll basically tear. I'm terrified by this at this point. Our night sky is changing rapidly, and in an issue of numerous years, while possibly not sooner, it might end up being completely unrecognizable. Cosmologists generally are sounding the alarm. Experts like Neil deGrasse Tyson have actually confirmed the inevitable impact of Polaris, and the story behind it is extremely surprising. Polaris, known as the North Star, has for some time been a steady in our night sky, filling in as an urgent reference point for stargazers, guides, and space specialists. In any case, this could in a little while change, altering our night sky and cosmic assessments. We should dive into the importance of this threat and its implications for every one of us. Join us as we reveal the story of Polaris as it draws near to its end. For a long time, Polaris has guided mariners and stargazers alike, standing firm on a revered balance as a guiding light. Its determined presence in the night sky has been essential for navigation. However, this stability may soon be disrupted. In September 2023, an exploration paper presented by the respected Royal Astronomical Society cast doubt on the fate of this heavenly light. Polaris is close to the unstable edge of exploding, potentially dissipating from the night sky permanently. Before we explore the consequences of this exposure, we ought to learn more about Polaris, otherwise known as the North Star or Pole Star. Polaris is special because of its closeness to the celestial North Pole, situated directly above Earth's North Pole. It appears almost fixed in the northern sky and is located in the constellation Ursa Minor, or the Little Dipper. Polaris shines as a moderately stunning yellow-white supergiant star, a part larger and brighter than our sun. It's not a solitary star, however. It's part of a complex triple star system, with Polaris A and Polaris B forming a binary pair, while Polaris B orbits them. The interactions between these stars create gravitational forces that shape their orbits and affect their behavior. Any disturbances in these interactions can lead to irregular variations in the star's brightness or beat patterns. However, the specific mechanisms behind these interactions remain tangled. Polaris is located around 323 light-years from Earth, meaning the light we see from it today started its journey quite a while ago. Consequently, if Polaris were to somehow explode now, we wouldn't see it until more than 300 years later. It's even possible that Polaris has already exploded, and we are yet to notice the light from that event. Throughout history, the North Star has held significant cultural, navigational, and symbolic importance. Its steadiness and fixed position made it an invaluable guide for ancient sailors, helping them navigate across seas and lands. Symbolically, Polaris represented steadfastness and direction, remaining unwavering amidst the ever-changing night sky. For astronomers, Polaris served as a critical reference point, aiding in the study of stellar movements and variable stars. As a Cepheid variable star, its occasional variations in brightness have provided crucial insights into stellar properties and the nature of variable stars. This characteristic also played a vital role in determining cosmic distances and calibrating instruments. These pulsations follow a predictable pattern, which has been a standard for the star, making it easier for us to anticipate its behavior. However, recently Polaris has wandered from this usual behavior. This anomaly in its pulsation cycle has puzzled astronomers, prompting a closer investigation of this curious irregularity. Rather than following its expected pattern, Polaris has started displaying erratic patterns of dimming, raising concerns among scientists that the star may be nearing the end of its life. This aligns with behaviors commonly observed in stars nearing the end of their life cycles. The gradual expansion of Polaris pulsation period, which was once constant, can be attributed to interactions within its star system. We've seen an annual increase in the pulsation length of 4.5 seconds, which may seem minor, but it holds significant implications. Some astronomers suggest that gravitational interactions between the Polaris stars could be causing these changes in its atmospheric conditions, directly impacting its pulsation patterns. Others are more concerned that it is near the critical edge of exploding. The similarities between Polaris behavior and that of Betelgeuse, another prominent star in the Orion constellation, are striking. Both stars have shown complex abnormalities in their brightness, raising concerns about a potential explosion. 
as stars in their twilight stages often display such anomalies before reaching the end of their life cycles, NASA has expressed heightened concern about Betelgeuse. However, formal attention has not yet been directed toward Polaris. As a Cepheid star approaches the end of its life cycle, it undergoes several stages, including the primary stage, the red giant stage, and finally, the supernova explosion. Considering Polaris irregular pulsations, scientists predict it has entered the stages of helium exhaustion typical of giant stars nearing their end. These irregularities in Polaris behavior align with patterns characteristic of stars in their twilight stages. However, convincing signs of its impending supernova remain unclear. Astronomers are persistently monitoring these anomalies to understand Polaris' fate. If Polaris somehow undergoes a supernova explosion, it would likely be a colossal event in our sky, potentially overshadowing the moon and becoming one of the brightest objects visible for days, weeks, or even months. Its appearance could dramatically alter our view of prominent star constellations like the Big Dipper or Ursa Major of which Polaris is a part. Rest assured, Earth would almost certainly be entirely safe, regardless of whether Polaris were to explode, given its mass and distance from us. While a Polaris explosion may not be as visually stunning as Betelgeuse's, it could still be visible to the naked eye for an extended period, outshining nearby stars. Astronomers and observatories would undoubtedly take notice, sparking interest within the academic community and among stargazers. However, the impact on Earth's environment or ecological systems would be less significant compared to a nearer supernova event. But what about Polaris itself? What will be its fate after a potential supernova event? We should clarify one thing. While giant stars typically end their lives with a supernova explosion, this is unlikely to be the case with Polaris. When a large star goes supernova, a massive explosion occurs within it, marking the final catastrophic stage in its life. This process involves a complete collapse of the core, triggering a violent shockwave that causes the star to explode. However, Polaris is not massive enough to undergo such an explosion. Instead, when Polaris exhausts its nuclear fuel, it will shed its outer layers and transform into a white dwarf. This transition will not result in a supernova but rather a peaceful end as it evolves into a small, extremely dense stellar remnant. A white dwarf is the leftover core of a low or medium mass star that has exhausted its nuclear fuel. It's incredibly dense, about the size of Earth, yet as massive as the Sun. When this happens, we will no longer see its remnants from our planet, as we see the star today. Contrasting the typical effects of Polaris explosion with actual supernova events offers valuable insights into the evolution of stars and their ultimate fates. Comparing our expectations with real supernova events like SN 1987A and later events like SN 2011 FE or SN 2014 J provides essential data for understanding the possible outcomes of Polaris explosion. For example, SN 1354 led to the creation of the Crab Nebula, a cloud that continues to expand and produce radiation across various frequencies, offering astronomers a rich field for study. Moreover, SN 1987A observed in the Large Magellanic Cloud, provided insights into the patterns of nucleosynthesis and the mechanisms of supernova remnants, including phenomena such as the formation of nebulae and the release of enormous beams and changes in glow, which can shed light on Polaris' unique characteristics. The formation of nebulae like the Crab Nebula results from the release of material during the supernova explosion, which then interacts with surrounding interstellar gas and dust enriching it with heavy elements and contributing to the cycle of stellar birth and death. Additionally, the release of massive beams and high-energy particles, rapidly propelled by supernova shockwaves, has implications for astrophysical processes and cosmic radiation conditions. To make a definitive comparison, scientists are evaluating differences in the large-scale production and speed of ejected materials between Polaris' expected explosion and other observed events. This includes studying the light curves, spectra, and remnants of these events and extrapolating similar characteristics for Polaris' expected explosion, assessing whether it may lead to the formation of nebulae or significant stellar distributions. This improves our understanding of its potential outcomes. Another important area of study involves examining the pulsational variability of stars approaching their end stages, comparing Polaris against other supernova progenitors. 
This overall analysis can help measure similarities or deviations and provide insights into the explosion mechanism. Pulsational variation in stars nearing the end of their lives may be indicative of internal instabilities or impending catastrophic events, offering signs to the developmental processes leading to supernova explosions. Despite careful observations and extensive research, space experts remain baffled by the anomalies seen in Polaris behavior. Unraveling the unique conditions driving these anomalies holds the key to advancing our understanding of stellar evolution. Understanding the factors responsible for Polaris erratic pulsations requires interdisciplinary collaboration, as well as the development of advanced theoretical models and observational techniques. The potential loss of Polaris as a significant reference point in the night sky raises fundamental questions for astronomical endeavors. Ground-based telescopes and celestial measurements would require recalibration, affecting the accuracy of cosmic evaluations. The absence of Polaris could also impact navigation systems and cultural practices based on celestial landmarks. Highlighting the significance of this celestial event, the mysterious behavior exhibited by Polaris underscores the need for deeper investigations and dedicated research efforts. Astronomers must grapple with the complexities surrounding its irregular pulsations and provide meaningful responses. Recognizing the importance of advancing our understanding of celestial complexities, the answer to Polaris' fate remains uncertain, and only time will reveal its true nature. Still, the quest for knowledge and understanding in the face of immense uncertainty is a testament to humanity's enduring curiosity in unraveling the mysteries of the universe. The implications of Polaris' potential demise stretch beyond simple astronomical interest. They address the very fabric of how humanity perceives its place in the universe. Since the dawn of time, celestial bodies have served as markers of time and navigation, guiding explorers across uncharted waters and lands. The loss of Polaris wouldn't just disrupt traditional navigation methods, but could also have sweeping implications for cultural myths and symbolism tied to the North Star. In various cultures, Polaris has been central to folklore and spirituality. For instance, Native American tribes often saw Polaris as a guiding light in their stories, symbolizing hope and perseverance. Likewise, the ancient Egyptians used the North Star in their architectural plans, aligning pyramids with its position above. The disappearance of such a prominent star could alter cultural narratives and the framework of human experience related to navigation and direction. Additionally, the academic community stands to face significant challenges if Polaris were to vanish. Astronomical measurements and observations heavily rely on established reference points. Polaris' role as a steady guide has facilitated the calibration of instruments and models used to study distant worlds, star movements, and even the expansion of the universe. The sudden absence of Polaris would require recalibrating many of these systems, potentially leading to discrepancies in measurements and interpretations of celestial phenomena. As astronomers shift their focus to observing Polaris more closely, new observational advancements are being developed. Progress in spectroscopy and photometry enable scientists to examine light emitted by stars in unprecedented detail. These tools help identify minute changes in brightness, which are crucial for understanding the mechanisms driving celestial behavior. As experts gather more data, they aim to refine their models of stellar evolution, particularly concerning stars in the later stages of their life cycles. The study of other similar stars, such as Cepheids and Red Giants, offers insights that could prove valuable. For example, astronomers are observing factors like the period luminosity relationship which aids in measuring distances across the universe. By comparing these stars' behaviors with those of Polaris, researchers hope to gain a clearer understanding of stellar dynamics and evolution, further enhancing their interest in the design of our universe. Moreover, as the search for exoplanets intensifies, the study of Polaris and its companions becomes increasingly significant. Understanding the characteristics of stars in triple systems can provide valuable insights into the formation and habitability of planets orbiting them. Astronomers are keenly interested in how such stars affect their surroundings, potentially influencing the conditions under which planets form and evolve.